All right, so now we're going to do the uh, basic importing, exporting, and uh, basic uh, tools to use in Blender when editing models. So the first thing I want to do is load up the mod tool. I want to open up and wait because I chose the wrong folder. Uh, this is the uh, Celtic Stadium. And as you can see, there's a bunch of... I can go down here and I, there's a bunch of models I could choose for the stadium itself. I mean, they're all, pretty much the entire stadium is editable. But just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to go down and edit only one of the baskets, not both of them, just one of them. Because I feel like this would be a good, uh, you know, simpler thing to edit. I get, all these different parts can be edited. I'll, I'll edit both. So I'm going to choose both baskets, part zero and part one. I'm going to hit export res. Now, I could save it to the desktop, but like I said in my setup video, I have this temp folder set up in the Blender directory to make it easier for me to find. So I'll just call this Celtics Baskets. So hit export. Wait for it to export out all the data. There it is. All done there. I'm going to minimize this. And get rid of that. I'm going to go to Blender, not that Blender, this Blender. Now when you load up Blender the first time, this is going to be here. It's a, that's a camera and there's some object here. You don't need this, you press A twice. A, the first time you press A, deselects everything, and you press it again to select everything that's there. And just press delete. And yes, it's okay just to delete these objects. Then I go to File, Import and you want to look for import N2KM and so it's going to bring you to this screen and since I have my temp folder right here and right there Celtics baskets the N2KM file that I uh, needed now if you need to go up one that's how you go up one and you just click once you don't have to double click so Celtics baskets that's what I want to edit import N2KM mod and then we're going to wait a second for it to uh, load into Blender Some general things to know about um, exporting and importing from the mod tool. When you export, you need to check these uh, check boxes for each of the parts. And that those rims right there, that are in the middle, are the rims that are seen in the reflection of the glass. And then uh, six and seven, I believe, are also uh, the reflections of the baskets. Well, I'm not worried about that yet. So here we are in Blender, and I'm looking for the f I'm looking for the uh, things I can't see them. And there's two reasons for that. Um, you have to go to View, and then View Properties, and then um, at the clip end, just make it a huge number, and it'll automatically reduce down to uh, 10,000. And what that will allow you to do, it, it makes it so you can see everything. You know, because it was it, it's the scale is so huge right now. This is the normal grid you're supposed to be working off of, and this is how big these things are. Now, with everything selected, you can deselect, you can reselect. Before, th there's two modes in Blender. There's a view mode, right, which we're object mode, which we're in right now, and then there's edit mode, where you can actually edit these things. Bef while we're in object mode, we can actually scale these to how we need them to, and. Um, what I do is I just scale it down to one one hundredth, or yeah, one one hundredth of the actual thing, of the actual size. So now I can actually edit these at a reasonable scale. And I'll get into that command of how to scale after. Now, if you click over here, you can see all the different parts that are available to edit at, a, at one, one at a time. You can't edit these multiples. You have to edit these one at a time. So these are all things we can edit in these uh, scoreboards. You may notice that um, you can't edit some of these things. Like where you know, there's nothing up here for the score for the uh, shot clocks. So you can't edit that. But you can edit the rest of these things. You can also right click on the various things to to select what you want to edit. So let's actually edit something. 
let's take this can all these cameras right here all of the, this extra stuff we can edit to get into edit mode you can either click here and choose edit mode or you can toggle it by pressing t uh, tab the tab key and when you first edit or go into edit mode you'll notice that um, everything's selected and we can press A to either select everything or deselect everything and that's you know that's important if you press B it changes your cursor so you can select certain objects so if let's say I only want to change this camera right here I can press B and do that another thing you can use with B is if you press B twice all of a sudden you now have this and this is more of a, a paint selector if you will where it only selects where you click down if you use the mouse wheel you can also change the size of what you can and can't select and then to be, get out of this you just press spacebar so I want to deselect everything I want to press A again so let's deal with this camera right here so first I want to select it and let's say I wanted to rotate well, let's, do the, let's do the first thing first let's say we want to move this closer to the basket so to do a, initiate a move command you just click with a left click and you just draw a straight line and now you're moving it to wherever you need it to go the problem is is that let's say I just move it up here that looks about right right but if you look at it it's actually now through the back the backboard that's not what we wanted control Z so we initiate another move command and if you click the uh, middle button of your mouse it will change the uh, various uh, if you hold it down you get this to really help you choose the access access excuse me that you want to uh, move it on so you move it up and down this way and I can move it front and back this way side to side so let's say I want to move it up a little bit and you know but I, I want to also move the other one and the other basket so they look the same so how can I you know if you just click like this it's a random you know integer you don't know what you moved it up if you just type Let's, you can see down here how far it's been moving. So let's say I want to move it up one unit. So all I have to do is press, well, let's, let's say 1.25. You just type in 1.25. Press enter, and it moved. And that's all there is to it. So we're going to press tab to get out of edit mode. We're going to go over to this, to this basket. We're going to right click the camera here, or you know, all these accessories. We're going to press tab, press A to deselect everything. We're going to try to get a camera view where we can select just the camera. I apologize. So since it's so close to that, you know, doing a, a regular box isn't going to help. So I'll just use the painter to grab all this. Space bar to get out of that. Straight line to initiate a move. You know, and we're free moving now. So we're going to press the, we're going to hold the middle button, or hold the scroll wheel down. Choose this axis, and instead of moving 1.25 in positive, we're going to first press negative 1.25, so it moves the same direction closer to the center core. Press enter, press tab. To, you know, we, want, we always want to make sure you get out of edit mode, and that's all there is to it for those. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to do scale. So let's say we want to make these uh, pads up here. Let's say we just want to make them big, just for the sake of doing it. So press tab, A to deselect everything, B to select the part you want to scale. To do a scale, you want to do a V motion. And there, there's keyboard shortcuts for these, but I don't know them. <laughs> so you hold on the left button, and you just draw a V. And it automatically starts the scale command. And you can do it like this. You can also type in values. 0.25, say we'll make it twice as big, that's 2. If you want to scale only on a certain axis, you can do the same thing again. Just hold the middle, um, the, the scroll wheel down, and you can change it this way. So I can make it fatter, I can make it longer, I can make it taller. And again, you can type in certain values if you want it to be 10 times as tall for some stupid reason. Whatever you want to do. And that's that for that. Finally, the last tool 
that's really useful in uh, doing model editing is the rotate so let's say we want to rotate the rim around the backwards just because we're idiots like that so press tab to go into edit mode we already have everything selected so we're going to select it all again and then to do a rotate command you draw a circle and as you can see it already got it and as you can also see it's also rotating on a really weird axis so to fix that again hold the middle button down and you choose the axis you want to rotate it on so you know nice little bent rim there maybe or if you want to be stupid like me you turn around like this Whoops. and see it's difficult to see how far turned around you are so all you gotta do whoops, get back into rotate command is you can type in 180 and it rotates at 180 degrees perfectly and now that is completely opposite of where it should be so before we export you want to make sure you press tab to get out of edit mode it doesn't matter what's selected and there's our you know messed up backboards file export n2kn this opens up down here you want to hit I have mine saved in the temp folder Celtics baskets I'm going to select that to overwrite it now you click once here and see how it pops up right there the file override if you move your mouse off of that it cancels everything so you gotta make sure you don't move your mouse which is annoying I don't like that but you gotta deal with it so we want to overwrite Celtics baskets export yes we want to overwrite it just click again and then click again to export complete or else it doesn't actually friggin export which is again stupid but we're done with blender for this go back into the mod tool we want to select the first model even though we have we don't have to check mark these don't worry about that import res celtics baskets we're going to import all of it just because we can wait for it to import and as you can see right there stop the rotation um, uh, well it's it, it did it did the job <laughs> it imported trust me <laughs> uh, but yeah both of them imported I really screwed up the view on that yeah I don't like the viewing in uh, mod tool either but both did import and next I will show you how to do the UV mapping and how to do snap moving which are both very important to do I'll see you there